You all good? Everybody ready? Here we go. Caleb, when you, when you were going through the pre-draft process, you said you wanted to kind of feel out compatibility with the organization. You've been here six weeks now. As you kind of get your feet on the ground here, what are some of the things they've put in place around you that you feel good about as you get your career off the ground? Yeah, one I'll say is obviously, you know, um, we got people like Keenan Allen, DJ, DeAndre Swift, offensive line. Um, you know, they've that's been the biggest part for me is the teammates. Um, and then obviously when we get out there, you know, I, you know the ebbs and flows of practice and things like that. Um, you know, this this whole thing, this whole process, um, just starting for me. Uh, you know, being being the Bears QB is 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 obviously new for me. So um, them being graceful um, and, and and encouraging. Um, has, has been huge for me. That's, I would say, probably been the biggest thing for me. Um, and then just talking to people like Brett and Tice that's, you know, been in, you know, whether it's here last year or whether it was, you know, Brett with all the other QBs that he's been a part of, that's been the biggest thing. And then just finding a routine, you know, whether it was a, 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 you know, a day that I didn't like or a day that I did like, um, you know, the day before, you know, getting up, getting in here, you know, going over what I need to go through, um, go through practice um, the right way, um, have a good positive attitude because I'm leading, you know, not just 10 other guys, but the team. Um, and so, um, you know, just find a routine and having the guys around me to, to, to help encourage. In what, in what way specifically have you felt the, the grace and the encouragement? Yeah, I mean, even, even you know, through text message, call, um, even on the practice field, um, them just believing, seeing, and, you know, seeing the vision that we all have and, and, and you know, being graceful with me, um, knowing that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty tough on myself, but, um, you know, they, they see right through it and, and understand that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been big for me. Um, like I said, having these guys around me um, and, and, and then being graceful, texting me, reaching out, calling me on the practice field, coming over, you know, congratulating when things go good and then when things don't go our way or whatever the case may be, you know, coming over and saying whatever they have to say um, and encouraging. Caleb, we've seen you at Wrigley a couple times. Yeah. The past game, the Sky game. What have you learned about Chicago fans by kind of being in that element? Yeah, they're uh, they're great. Uh, they're always showing up to um, whether it's Sky, um, Sox, obviously Bears, um, Cubs, and things like that at Wrigley Field. So um, they're showing up, showing out, um, and and you know they put on a show every single time. When you end up in a bar and there's a Green Bay Sox. Yeah. <laughs> What's that like to just be kind of in that mass of people and, and knowing that everybody's looking after that? Yeah, um, be myself. Um, that's how I, how I go about everything um, and, and enjoy. Um, I Obviously, I said in a bunch of interviews that I'm going to be and, and be a part of the community, be out there, enjoy, um, you know, let everybody see you, um, just another, another human. Um, and like I said, so just being out there, enjoying, being myself, um, and, and being a part of, like I said, the community, being out there and supporting them. I don't know. How do you, Caleb, how do you some of your struggles with the, with the cadence has been discussed over the last two days? What, what, from your perspective, has been the struggle? Um, just finding the the the, the green line is as, 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 as right in the middle of of, of where we need it. Um, um, no, so everybody can be on the on the same page. That's the biggest thing, um, and so that the center can hear me. The right tackle. Left tackle, right guard, you know, the back, left guard, wide receiver. Everybody can can hear me. So it's just it's just finding the the balance uh, between it all, and not being too loud um, on certain plays and things like that. Not being you know you know voice too low. Um, so just just working practice wise, just working through it. Obviously in college, a lot of teams are are clap cadence, and and so just you know it's been four years since I've been verbal. So it's just you know getting back to. Getting back to the verbal cadence um, is, is is really what it is. How do, you, how do you measure how do you measure the progress that you're making right now? What standard are you applying to kind of figure out if you're moving along at the rate that they want you to and that you want? To? Yeah, uh, first I ask questions. Um, I ask questions to coach. Um, I ask about my progression. I ask where he wants me to be, where I should be, um, and then obviously I have my own my own goals set for myself, um, and that's to be perfect. Obviously, you know you strive for something like that. Um, and you, you don't ever reach it, but you keep striving for it. Um, whether it's a, a day that I like, a day that I don't, there's always good and bad in it. And so, um, you know, just, just, you know, finding my balance and, and, and reaching and striving for my goal. Um, and, and a big part of it is just sticking to the routine, um, enjoying the process, um, enjoying my teammates, being a good teammate, going out there and working, working my tail off. What do you expect when you get into the process of trying to get a contract done with them, doing it with, without the agent? Yeah, um, I'm not handling that. Um, I've been focused on these 
these past three days of mini camp, uh, the OTAs before that, and uh, rookie rookie camp before that. So um, I haven't been focused on that. Polls and and uh, and um, uh, my team has been focused on that. I have lawyers and attorney, you know, to handle things like that, um, so that I can, you know, be be free minded on the field, enjoying uh, coming into work every day and, and work my tail off. How do you feel like you've done up there your first couple of weeks as an NFL quarterback, maybe compared to what you expected? Um, I didn't come in necessarily with expectation to, um, you know, to be a and seem like a 13-year vet. Um, I came in to, you know, to, to work, uh, work my tail off, uh, show the guys that I'm here. I'm working my tail off. I'm progressing um, and, 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 you know, trying not to make the same mistake again. Um, that's the biggest thing. Uh, day in and day out, I was trying not to make the same mistake over and over and learn from them. And so um, I think that's been my biggest, you know, thing for me and, and, and also understand that I'm leading an organization and a team. So, um, you know, just 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 having that mindset and, and being in that mind state um, and just trying to fly, find my flow. Was there anything specific? With all of the first that you're going through right now, what's been the biggest challenge and what, if anything, has come along easier for you than maybe you expected? The challenge um, right now for me, I would say, would be, would be, you know, I was, one would be the, the cadence of putting it all together um, because, you know, there's, there's a fine line for it. And then the other part was just, just getting reps of, of whether it's me being in the huddle and things like that. Um, the verbiage that we use, um, it's, you know, it's all new to me, like you said. And so that's the challenge is, is just, you know, like I said, trying to be perfect and, and work towards that. Um, and, and, and understanding that when I don't do it, you know, being neutral um, is really important um, and being calm and understanding, you know, let's redo it. You know, we're going we're going to, you know, keep working through it, but not, not make the same mistake again. And then uh, something that's been, you say, easier. Um, I don't have a you know, it's the NFL. Um, I go versus the top five defense. Um, you know, I got a, a lot of great guys on the opposite side of the ball. Um, you know, this job is tough. Playing QB is tough. Um, and so, you know, I wouldn't say it's necessarily been easier or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's been work, um, working my tail off, um, getting after it uh, day in and day out. Was there anything specific during the three days that you felt you got better at? Yeah, um, I'd say um, I, f I feel that I've gotten better at the cadence. I feel that um, progression wise, going through all the reads, throwing a little bit better with anticipation, get more reps with the wide receiver. That obviously helps. Um, and so with all the reps that we've been able to get and, and, and obtain, um, it's, it's, it's been huge. Um, and so just, just like today, um, I feel like progression wise, being able to throw a little bit more anticipation, it was, was, you know, a little small step for me. Caleb, are you, are you able to see just even in this stage of practices with the skill players they put around you, the receivers, Swift, Cole, that there's just going to be a lot of options, that you will have options, you will have windows and targets. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you, you know, there's obviously, you know, I feel that there's a light at the end of that tunnel. Um, right now we're working with our head down um, and, and we're building. And so, um, you know, just having that, that moment with myself, I do it every day um, as, as I sit there and say, we're going to be, we're going to be pretty damn good. Um, and so just got to keep working, keep going. Um, and, and we're all excited. Um, so it's, it's really important to, to have that mindset, um, um, but also have the mindset of, like, let's keep going, uh, let's keep working, let's, let's, let's get after it. Why did you make the top 12 guys uh, stay open so late? <laughs> I heard about this. I actually haven't seen the, the, the clip or something. Cole actually came to me at, at lunch and said he talked about it. But um, we, I, I couldn't – and let's, let's put it this way. Cole beat me. He, Cole did not win Top Golf. Let's put it that way. Cole beat me. You see how Cole was. He 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 said that he won. He he just beat me. Uh, Brett Rip won. Um, I was competing to to catch up to Brett. Um, and then the game turned off. Um, I got cold. Um, and uh, you know after that I tried to reset it and all of that. And um, you know I did, I ended up coming in third place instead of second or first, which I was I was shooting for first. But Cole did not win the game. Cole beat me. Let's put it that way. <laughs>